Doctors rely on new technologies to help them care for patients. Using massive data sets of symptoms, medical histories, and test results. All of this data is analyzed using algorithms, computer-based formulas that guide how physicians diagnose and treat their patients. The use of the algorithms is to really standardize or systematize the way that we process and use a wide array of information. And, and, and I would say that the, this, is, this is part and parcel of the practice of medicine. This, this is not, these are not some esoteric uh, tools. The algorithm used every day in every setting by practitioners to make decisions. Reliance on mathematical algorithms and artificial intelligence is exploding, but America's history of racial bias is sometimes baked in. Over the last few years, we've started to identify that anytime these tools incorporate race, then we have to ask the question, what is actually the role of race, and is it the appropriate proxy or measure to include in this algorithm? One example of how race-based algorithms put black patients at a disadvantage in receiving life-saving treatment is pulmonary function tests. The spirometer utilized by Dr. Samuel Cartwright in the 19th century is still being used to diagnose lung disease today. This test measures what is the lung volumes of a person, right? And we see that there was an adjustment made again for race Historically, they said that we had a lower lung function than white people. The roots of that work live on to current day in the way that we assess lung function in spirometry. Anyone who's blown into that tool, that machine to assess lung capacity has had their race baked into the actual machine. What this means is that black and white patients with exactly the same test results are diagnosed differently by the algorithm to the disadvantage of black patients. It's only until just recently that the American Thoracic Society made their recommendation that race should be removed in spirometry testing.